Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zakai Gardens. I'm going to show you a little trick that I do if I find borers in my apples or in my peaches. I found one before in my uh, Saturn peach, donut peach right here, this tree. It was right there, there was sap coming out like crazy on the, on the bottom of the tree right from the hole in the right where the graft was taken they look for a weak spot and they just attack it so what i did with this one this is about a year ago is i got a um a kebab skewer you know the, the wooden skewers to skewer vegetables or meat for barbecue i doused it in uh insecticidal soap and i stuck that skewer into the hole and just dug around and Within a couple days, there's no more sap coming out of the tree, and I painted over it with a interior latex paint, half and half water. Some people use a joint compound or other things to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to show you another trick that I use, uh, and it works, or it works for me at least. So here's an apple. Uh, this is um, Granny Smith, and a whole other bunch of things that I grafted onto it, other varieties. But here's a little hole that I found. And I thought it was, I, I dug it out a bit. It's, sorry, it's a little dark. I dug it out, that's why it looks a little bigger, but there is a hole in there. So, and it's starting to, with my apples, what I've noticed is if there's a, a bore or something in the wood, the wood uh, swells up in that location. And when I dig and dig and dig, I usually find something. So there's something in here, and what I do with this, instead of keep, because this is not that big of a limb, I don't want to cut the whole limb off, because um, it does have a lot of spurs, and it's part of my grafts as well, and I don't want to lose that graft, it's been here a while. So what I do, is I get a can of compressed air, and if you ever used this before, and if you ever tilted it by accident, um, upside down, it just sprays out cold. So what I do with the tip of the, no uh, the nozzle, I put it in the hole, put the can upside down, and a little jet of air. Freezing cold, that actually froze my finger a bit. And do it again. And that's it, don't do too much because that could hurt the tree as well. But that's what I do, that's it, that's all it takes. And after a while, you'll see this start healing up. Uh, and if needed, I, I do it again. And of course, I'm going to paint this as well. Anyways, that's my trick. Uh, don't use too much of it. Remember, the tree is a living organism as well. You don't want to freeze the tree as well. All right, everyone. I hope it works for you if you have this issue. Happy gardening. Bye.